it's not as cold this morning as it was yesterday. Um, about a week ago, I'm in the Dakota, by the way, and I'm, I'm on my way to work. And about a week ago, uh, coolant loss in this truck got really noticeable. I was pouring coolant in about every morning, maybe about a gallon a week. And uh, then one morning I was driving along, had the, the defrost on, and started seeing moisture on the inside of the windshield. And, and then I could smell the coolant inside the cab. And, and I pretty well knew what was going on. Um, two years ago I had to have the whole dash out of this truck. I uh, disconnected the AC, which is still disconnected. And uh, I put a heater core in. And uh, if you're not aware, this is a, a 2000... One, I had to think there for a minute, uh, Dodge Dakota uh, with the 4.7 liter. And I'm betting the, uh, I'm pretty sure every uh, engine size within this year range was the same. Um, but you can buy the heater core two separate ways. Um, you can buy just the core and reuse your aluminum tubes, which the, the aluminum tubes come out of the heater core. They're held in with a bracket and have a couple of o-rings around them. And that was about, I want to say 80 bucks for just the core. Or for like 130, 140, I can't remember how much it was at that time, you can get the core and tubes as a single assembly. And I thought, I'm sure my tubes are fine, it's probably just the cores rotted out, so... I went with just the core, expecting to reuse my tubes, and I thought, well, surely you can get these tubes if, if yours are bad. I mean, why would they sell just the core without the tubes? Um, so I got in there and realized that actually my core was fine. Um, all I needed were the tubes. And so I started to prepare to return my core and order just the tubes and realized that can't get the tubes. You can get the core without the tubes, but you can't get the tubes without the core. And what I realized was going on was I've got electrolysis happening in my cooling system and I, I can't get it to stop. Uh, I'm going to have to tear the system down and, and figure out what has contaminated my system and what's causing this, this electrolysis. So the electrolysis is, is traveling through the coolant, through the tubes, and it's eating out the tubes, uh, both on the engine side, where there's a, there's a set of tubes that go across the engine, transfers into a set of hoses from the engine to the firewall, and then back into aluminum tubes. And uh, most likely the problem is, is that I need to just switch uh, coolant types and uh, go with the pink stuff and the, the uh, I think it's polypropylene, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a no water solution, so there, there's, no, there's no actual water in the system. It creates a much lower uh, pressure system, uh, no blow offs in. I think it runs maybe two PSI at the most uh, at temp. But what's going on is, is yeah, that electrolysis is eating out the tubes and it, it ate them out at the O-ring landings and they started leaking past the O-rings. So two years ago, about this time of year, this is uh, early November, I think it was late November when this happened a couple of years ago, I ended up in a local scrap yard on a 20 degree day, uh, tearing apart a wrecked Dakota to get its tubes out. And when I took the tubes out of it, I discovered that they too were starting to be ate out, but they were in better shape than the tubes I had. Um, I was too broke at that time to, to try and return and, and get the right core, and it, ju it just wasn't an option, and I had to have a vehicle with heat. And uh, I've put it off, I've been trying to get the Bronco up and running, and I've put it off too long, which I have a bad habit of doing. I've put the Bronco off too long, I've put the Dakota off too long. So, uh, these last two mornings, uh, this, this morning's been a lot warmer, um, but yesterday morning was, was a very cold drive to work. And in addition to that, 
the uh, the pile speakers that I put in this truck about five years ago are all completely blown now so not only is my 36 mile drive rather cold in the morning but I have no music so definitely need to get the Bronco operational so I'm going to be ordering the timing cover and timing chain for it uh, this Friday um, this weekend I'm going to go out and, and do some some stuff that I was going to hold off and do after I got it running but since I've got some time and I'm waiting on parts uh, I'm going to get the cabling all done first all new battery cables terminals going to one gauge wire nice heat shrink on everything um, putting a power distribution block inside the fender so um, be looking for that video sometime next week um, I'm sure it'll not go as planned um, but I'm also gonna put uh, I got a full set of gauges um, so I'm gonna get those put in and, and get all the, the tubing and electrical and everything ran for that so uh, again be looking for that video uh, here in the next week or so uh, no promises but I'm, I'm gonna try and start getting videos out a little more often um, my subscriber numbers are starting to go up. I have six as of uh, last night. I haven't looked this morning. But uh, starting to get a little bit of chatter on some videos, which is good. So uh, please comment. Please like. Uh, please share. Please subscribe. And uh, I'll get back to you guys. Thanks.